Hello, uh, just a quick message today. Um, many of you may be aware or not that uh, they call this Sunday Pentecost Sunday and you might be thinking what does Pentecost Sunday mean? Is it another just another day or what? Um, it's something similar to like Christmas, Easter, Christmas we, we remember Jesus being born, Easter, him dying, now Pentecost. Um, so uh, I'm not a big person that's into events and stuff like that, but actually what the meaning of it is for life is more of interest to me. Um, so just wanna, I'm trying to be really quickly to say this. The Old Testament part of the Bible, uh, basically you had God who, um, who spoke to people uh, and uh, it was mainly God would speak in a very special way to certain people who would lead other people and, and uh, there were angels and a few different things going on uh, and then when we get to what the Bible calls the New Testament the different part with the New Testament is um, that is the part when Jesus was born and came to earth uh, Jesus then of course when he was alive he walked around and he spoke to uh, various people because uh, he was you know he was God in man uh, and he went around and spoke uh, taught people stuff spent time with people had meals with people and of course the end of Jesus life he died on the cross um, which that was his purpose of coming to earth God sent his one and only son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins because he loved us and uh, if you think about the first ever created person who was Adam and Eve they were created to have friendship with God and they spoke to God in the Garden of Eden and because of sin they did what God told them not to do then uh, they they became not friends with God because the barrier of sin became uh, came between Adam and Eve and God so God sent his only son so that we who are all born uh, sinful because of what Adam did the first human being um, Jesus died on the cross taking our sin and our wrong doing uh, and uh, the the inheritance of sin if you like the inheritance of being on the wrong side of relationship with God Jesus took that upon himself and died on the cross uh, so that we can be forgiven if we will uh, speak to Jesus and say Jesus who is alive at the right hand of God in heaven right now uh, and will always be alive and always in heaven and always love us we can call out to Jesus we've had an invitation if you like from Jesus if we believe in what he's done on the cross if we believe we're sinners if we believe that Jesus has taken all our sin not not just the small bits or the big bits but taken all of our sin on the cross and forgiven us he the Bible says he is our saviour and our deliverer and cleanser of all of our sin we can speak to Jesus and say, Jesus, please, will you forgive me of my sin? I want to know you. I want to follow you. Uh, and Jesus wants to lead us. And that was the way we were all made to be led like Adam, uh, to be led and friends with God. And Jesus is God's son uh, and he connects us to God. Uh, God. So we have God, the son, God, the father, and then we have God, the Holy Spirit which is about Pentecost. So Jesus was on earth. He was talking to people. People were following him. They were having food together. He was leading them what they where they should go. And they were just relaxed in life because they had this awesome leader. But yet then Jesus died on the cross. He rose again three days later. Uh, and um, you know that talks about our our lives. We can we can uh, repent. We can turn away from our old life. Our old life we can put it to death if you like, not physically, but in a spiritual sense, uh, laying it down so that we can raise up the third day like Jesus did uh, into a new life and a new way of living in relationship. And following Jesus but a number of days later Jesus was taken up to heaven but this is what happened in Acts chapter 2 chapter 1 is the Holy Spirit came and the Holy Spirit is part of God and so remember people were walking around with Jesus as friends and they were enjoying his company and they were enjoying uh, being secure in the fact that he was leading them and directing them in their lives and in their decisions and with their finances and with the whole of their lives. But now he's gone. Now, did he leave a void? No, he left something called someone, a person called the Holy Spirit. 
And when we come to Jesus and we ask for forgiveness for our sins because of what he did on the cross and we start to follow him, uh, we know that we know Jesus because the Holy Spirit comes to live in us. And that's what happened at Pentecost. Pentecost was the Holy Spirit coming from heaven into the hearts and lives of all the believers of Jesus Christ. And that's how somebody knows if they know they're a Christian because the Holy Spirit is in them. And the Holy Spirit in us does the same as what God was doing in the Old Testament with Adam being friends, talking to him, leading him and guiding him. It does the same as what Jesus was doing in the New Testament uh, by, by leading and speaking. He speaks into our hearts and he leads us. Uh, in those things. So Pentecost is a time to remember that we can all know God and we can all be led of God and we can all be friends of God and that he gives us strength for living and power for living above and beyond what we have ourselves and he gives us an insight in how to live our lives because of the way he speaks to us and we don't just have to guess and make the best of our lives but most importantly knowing Jesus the Bible says is we 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 move from death to life. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. That means when we when we we end and we finish in this life, we will go to hell forever and ever. This life is short, maybe 60, 70, 80 years for most of us. Uh, but 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 eternity after this period of life, uh, we have the whole rest of our lives in either heaven or hell. But those of us who come to know Jesus and we know that we know Jesus because we have uh, we've asked for forgiveness of our sins by faith. We've believed in what Jesus has done on the cross and we know that we know him because his spirit comes into our lives. And that's not a scary thing. It's just a great thing. Uh, and we know that we know Jesus and he starts to speak to us and we it's all about friendship with Jesus and that connection is the Holy Spirit coming to live in us uh, and then we we find this life that's that, that nothing else can compare to so enjoy your Pentecost Sunday <laughs>